Good morning! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Amber. If it's your first time here, I don't normally look like this, but it is about mm, a few minutes before 5 a.m. if I had to guess. Um, and so yeah, welcome to my vlog. Um, I was supposed to get up at 4 this morning, which is an ideal time for me, but I did give myself permission to sleep a little longer. I just feel like my body needed it today. So um, normally after I brush my teeth, which I just did, I will have my quiet time, but because I overslept, I'm gonna have to do that a little later. Okay, I'm gonna keep getting ready while I talk to y'all. Um, but I do have a Pilates class this morning. It starts at six and it's about 20 minutes away. Actually, more like 25 minutes away. So, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready for that. But how are y'all doing? Um, I know I've not seen y'all in a little bit, but I hope y'all been doing well. I'm not used to talking in the morning, y'all. So I am so sorry if I'm like being really boring right now, but it's five in the morning. Like who's talking? Who's talking at five? So there's a lot to do today, but right now I'm just gonna focus on what's in front of me, which is getting to this workout class on time. Um, before I head out though, I'm going to unload the dishwasher just because that's like my thing. Um, I can at least knock that out. When I say my thing, by the way, it's just part of my morning routine. Um, but I'm gonna knock that out and then get dressed and then we'll be on our way. I've been at home for a while now um after my class I came home took a shower and then I took a nap I took like a 25 minute nap the time change so losing that hour of sleep I'm feeling it I am feeling it so strongly plus I um I did not sleep through the night last night I woke up to use the bathroom and then I could not go back to sleep so I hate when that happens. That happens to me more than I would like. Um, and it's always like happening. It always happens like the day before, like a really packed day. Like I hate that. So yeah, I, I'm i so sleepy right now. I hate it. I hate it. I think I need to go buy an espresso, like a iced latte because I don't know how I'm supposed to make it through this day. Feeling like this. My Pilates class was hard this morning. Um, I've only done it a few times now. And I feel like I never know what I'm doing in there. Like, am I too close to y'all? I'm sorry. Um, I feel like I never really know what I'm doing. It's so hard to do. Do y'all, is anybody on here do watching right now do Pilates? Like, I've been doing the um, micro reformer. And let me tell you, that thing does not look intimidating at all. Like it looks basic, but it's not basic. <laughs> Nothing about that thing is basic. I'm doing my skincare right now, as y'all can see. I usually do this right after 
I shower. But yeah, y'all, today's flow is not a normal one. I can tell you that. This is not how my days normally go. Like usually once I'm up, I'm up. I get a move on. But you know, I'm trying to slow down. I'm trying not to be so hard on myself and feel like every single minute of every single day needs to be a accounted for like it really doesn't the most important thing is that i steward my time well and you know be a responsible adult but at the same time like i'm not a machine either like that's something i've really been working on lately it's just giving myself more grace in that area by the way y'all have to check this out um this is a blue hyaluronic cleansing foam from Laneige it's called water bank I don't know what that means it's water bank though but let me tell y'all it smells so good and it's so soft on the skin like as soon as you like start lathering it in your in the palm of your hands like it has this nice really soft texture to it like using this on my face i feel like i am washing my face in clouds like it feels so good um i actually got this in a fab fit fun box like back in december um and so that's how like i discovered this but yeah it's called laneige really really good i don't think i'm going to wear makeup today i i'm going to broker tour later on which yeah i need to tell y'all what we're doing today i have not told y'all like what what's even going on right now so today i had a call already with my husband we usually do a call in the mornings like around 8 30 ish just to go over our real estate business um where we're at on files things that need to be done whatever whatever so i already did that um and so now what i need to do is i need to eat some breakfast i need to do my quiet time and then i'm going to go or we're going to go rather to broker tour so broker tour is really fun this is when real estate agents who have um, a listing usually it's like a newer listing they open up the home and then other agents can tour it y'all might if you watch selling sunset or real estate shows like that you probably know what i'm talking about um but yeah it just gives like agents an opportunity to explore the new listing um, they usually have food there and drinks and things like that. Um, and so I want to go to a couple of those today. And then once I finish with that, I have some more real estate work to do this afternoon. But I feel like, honestly, like that's it. So that's on the agenda. Sorry, I'm just not telling y'all. Um, but yeah. So I'm still undecided on whether or not I'm gonna do something to my face, but in the meantime, I am going to go ahead and gua sha um, because I have a chipmunk face right now and I need to get it together. So um, I'm gonna talk to y'all though while I do it. And I just wanna have like some transparency on here. Um, I think it's important to be transparent. I think that transparency breaks barriers that's just what i believe um but yeah y'all yesterday i cried real tears for a while um by the way don't judge how i guasha i'm new to this let me do what i know to do in peace okay now if you have some suggestions and you want to share them respectfully below do that okay and look, I know a lot of y'all are nice, but every once in a while you get those those people, okay? But anyways, I cried real tears yesterday because I just felt so discouraged in my journey as a YouTuber. I talk to y'all about this all the time. Not all the time, but like, I feel like it comes up every now and then. And, you know, I really enjoy what I do on here. By the way, this is not my full-time job okay doing youtube is a hobby for me this is not my full-time job okay um a lot of y'all know i've already said it i work in real estate my husband and i own a real estate business and that requires a lot of work a lot of time especially if you're working with 
a lot of clients. So this is kind of just a way for me to be creative, to talk about the Lord, to help women grow in their relationship with the Lord. And I really do enjoy it a lot. But for some reason, um, which I mean, I believe it's just spiritual warfare. Let's call it for what it is. But I really get in my head and I'll start comparing myself to other people. I'll feel like my content is not good. Um, I'll be honest, I don't think there's a single YouTube video I've ever uploaded and been like super proud of. Maybe in the moment I was proud of it, but then looking back, I'm like, nah, that really wasn't it. And so um, I just share that because I've not been on here a lot lately. I struggle with consistency on YouTube um, for different reasons. Number one is... I don't prioritize it the way I need to. Also, if I'm not doing well, this is going to be awkward to try to talk to y'all and like do this. Um, But if I'm not doing well, this is so awkward. Yeah, like I struggle with my mental health a lot. And so if I'm not feeling my best, I don't show up. I know that a lot of creators push being consistent. They're like, show up no matter what. Da, 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 da. All right, that's not me. If there's one thing I'm not good at in life, it's lying. It's being fake. Okay, I'm not good at that. So if I'm not full, if, if my cup isn't running over, I don't have anything to pour out. That's just me. You see what I'm saying? I... I'm just firm in that. Now, it would be different if my day-to-day, -day, like if this was my primary source of income, like if my family depended on this and everything, then yeah, I'm going to get my stuff together. But th this is a hobby. And so I think like I um, get upset with myself because I lack consistency. But at the same time, it's like, well, Amber, even if you did show up, you're like, you're, you're going to be a mess, right? And I'm not striving for perfection here. I'm not um, trying to say like, I need to always be my best and brightest. I'm not saying that either. But like, if I'm in a funk, I need to take care of myself. Like I need to take care of Amber. And I think that's just the way it should be in life, holistically. Like, the Lord has allowed me to minister to so many women, whether in person or online. But, you know, it's important that I have that time with the Lord. It's important that my mind and like everything is, is healthy because I feel more um, confident in those moments. I feel more real in those moments. Um, but I'm also going to keep it real. Like on here, I'm telling y'all right now, like, look, y'all didn't see me because I was a hot mess and I have no problem. I have no problem at all saying that. So, um, I just wanted to share that. There's so much I want to share with y'all. Just one of a few things. They always say like, you can't help others if you're not helping yourself. And I don't believe and being selfish. I don't believe that we need to have a lifestyle that's centered around us and everything's got to be about how we feel. That's not what I'm saying. But, um, you know, struggling with mental health, which I'm going to talk to y'all <clears throat> later on about that some more, but like, it's a real thing. And, you know, your brain is essentially like the headquarters of your body. Your brain controls so many aspects of you. And if your headquarters are down, I call the brain the headquarters, if it's down, then what good is the body? What good is anything else? And so you have to take care of that first and then you pick back up.
Okay, y'all, it's hours later. I'm so annoying today. Like, <laughs> I don't wanna keep complaining to y'all, but like, when I say I am tired, I am tired, but I am gonna go to broker tour today. I told y'all I was gonna show y'all some houses. And so there's two that we're gonna go check out. They're both luxury listings, which means that um, they're at the million dollar price point. I wanna say that they both are. Um, but we're just going to see two today. I picked some cute houses for y'all to enjoy. Of course, I got you. I know what y'all want to see. Okay. I know what the people want to see. I know what I want to see. Shoot. Um, so we're going to go do that. I have on my realtor sweatshirt, as y'all can see. Um, <laughs> this is a lazy day. So this sweatshirt, which if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you've seen me wear this so many times. It's great for marketing, of course. It's like a subtle way of showing people, hey, I'm in real estate. If you need a realtor, call me. But also, it's very comfortable. I have some jeans on too. I know I'm getting all kind of crazy angles. Um, but I just wanted to be comfortable today. I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get out. And the next time I see y'all, we'll be at property number one. Okay, y'all, so that was the first house. I wish I could have made it more like an official tour, but for the sake of not having a crazy long video and the fact that there were so many people in there, I was like, I'm not about to do all that today. Um, but now we are headed to the next one, the last one. I don't think it's too far from here. So the next time I see y'all, I'll be at the second property. up y'all um i am at home and i've been at home for hours um i have not vlogged in a, cannot talk i have not vlogged in a while and so i'm kind of all over the place trying to get back into a rhythm but i am so frustrated right now that i could cry i had a video that was supposed to be edited by my video editor and it did not come back at all the way it was supposed to um, so I'm just frustrated because this video was supposed tomorrow and now it looks like I'm going to have to take time to edit that video. I'm not going to get to it today, so I'm going to have to do it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm just <sighs> the frustration. Um, I was trying to get an editor so that I don't have to edit the videos anymore. I love editing. It's my favorite part of the creative YouTube process, but, or production process, but it's just frustrating because now I have to make adjustments. Um, not the end of the world, just annoying, okay? But I'm at home now, it's like almost four o'clock and I'm about to eat lunch, a super duper late lunch. I'm gonna have to turn around and cook dinner like an hour in 15 minutes. I did it to myself though. Um, let me show y'all what I'm having for lunch, by the way, since 
I'm already here. Here is my lunch. I'm having some salmon with a kale salad. Uh, I did good, I did good. I just cooked my lunch myself, saving money, you know. Y'all, it's a couple days later. Ain't that a shame? But in my defense, I was not feeling well at all um, yesterday. I was so exhausted. I don't know what was going on. I had like brain fog. I literally was good for nothing. So I didn't do anything. Um, here it is. I'm trying to find my brow gel. I need a bigger makeup bag. My stuff is like spewing out. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't do anything. Um, which I did have real estate work to do yesterday. So my husband just had to steer the ship by himself. And um, usually one person does steer a ship. So anyways, that was not a good analogy. But y'all get what I'm saying. I was just MIA. But now we are back to our regular schedule. And I've got a lot to do today, y'all. So today is Friday. And usually... Well, not usually, but according to my new schedule I created for myself, this is supposed to be kind of like a more chill, slower pace day. But because I didn't do anything yesterday, I now need to play catch up. So I have some housework to do. Um, I need to buy groceries. I have a friend that had um, surgery done at the top of this week. So I just want to bring her a little something. Um, what else, y'all? I feel like those are like the big things. Those are like the big things. Crap hit the fan this week. So, so much for that. But look, I'm going to keep going because that's one thing about life. Like you cannot control everything. There are just certain things that you can't control. But how you respond to those things is what matters. So even though... My week has not gone as planned. I'm not going to throw in the towel. I'm going to continue to show up, to work hard. And notice this too, y'all. Like, notice how I listen to my body. Because yesterday, I could have pushed through. I could have shown up and done the things that needed to be done. I could have done that. But you know what? I would have woke up this morning... And I would have felt it even more. So I think it's so important to like listen to your body. For some of us, we listen to our bodies a little too much and we don't do anything because we think we need rest every day. We don't need rest every day. <laughs> not every day. I'm not encouraging anybody to be idle or lazy because I believe that according to the biblical example of what we see in Proverbs 31, that is not how... Um, that's not how we are supposed to be as godly women. So I'm not encouraging that at all. I'm washing my hands. Um, Y'all, there's this new balm, lip balm I've been using by Zizia Botanicals. This stuff is spicy, okay? It's got ginseng. How do you say it? Ginseng, ginger, and cayenne. It's spicy. It smells like a spicy little lip balm. Uh... But I like it because it makes my lips like really shiny. I'm not wearing any makeup today because ain't nobody got time for that. This is a cleanup day, housekeeping day. We looking good for who? Who? So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of talking for the next several hours. I'm just going to bring y'all along with me. And yeah, y'all just enjoy this content, this music, this editing, this storytelling. Okay, talk to y'all soon. My scars like trophies. I take my friends in doses. My family just don't know me. Well, I turn my blood so frozen. Most happy when I'm dozing. Cause I pretend I'm far away from the patterns. Like nothing really matters. Uh, but you 
All right, so I finished eating dinner. Now I need to go to the hair store because I'm getting my hair braided tomorrow. And I don't know why, I thought I had a bunch of hair left over from my last appointment here at the house, but I don't. And I'm glad I remember now because it's 6.30 and I don't think it, they close till nine, but <clears throat> excuse me, I choked earlier. But um, I'm going to get my shoes on, head out the door, and we're going to go pick up this hair. Then when I get back, I need to wash my hair, make sure I shampoo, condition, and deep condition it just so it's prepped for the protective style because I plan on having these braids in for a couple of months. So, let's go. Y'all, today is Tuesday. I have not vlogged since Friday. I have not seen y'all in a few days. I know, shame on me, hot mess. I'll take the judgment, I deserve it. Um, Yeah, I have not been feeling the best. I don't know, like I had a really bad headache yesterday. Um, and then Sunday was just like a chill day. We just went to church, came home, ate lunch, and then we just like chilled inside because it was raining. Um, y'all haven't missed out on anything is what I'm trying to say. I did get my hair braided. I needed that in my life, trust. Um, but I also got a package from Dibs and I'm gonna show y'all what they sent me. I have not done my makeup in several days. So I'm about to do my makeup even though I'm not going anywhere. I hope that it inspires me to be a little more productive. So let me... see here okay so let me go turn off these lights i don't like leaving the lights on if i'm not in a room i don't need the light on all 
Okay, now I'm back for real. So I got some makeup that came in from Dibs Beauty. And I'm going to show y'all what I have. Oh, this was crooked the whole time. I'm sorry, y'all. Wait, it's still crooked. Uh, okay. So um, I just got this in yesterday. And they sent me some of their Glow Tour Duo sticks which are a uh, blush and contour and so one end of it is contour and the other end is blush and then they sent me this really nice makeup brush to go along with it so well, let me take this out the package because i already know the quality is going to be insane oh yeah this is really nice None of my makeup brushes are like this. I can tell you that. I might need to order um, some of these makeup brushes. So it is so pretty, huh? I think it's pretty. And then let me show y'all what these sticks look like. So that's what they look like on the outside. This one is called Cosmic Current. So, oh, not me dropping stuff. Where did it go? I don't know. Oh, sweatshirt's choking me. Um, so this end here is the contour, and then this end here is the blush. So they're all different colors, um, but that was so nice for them to send me some makeup because look, I need to do something to my face. Um, I don't need to, it would just, probably help me with my productivity if I did so yeah the only things that I have to do today is like do some real estate work and then as far as content creation goes I need to edit some video um I'm sorry I need to edit this vlog you're watching right now so that I can post it and have it ready to go for tomorrow I have been terrible with YouTube, y'all. Like, it shouldn't take all of that. But you know what? It does. It does take all of that because YouTube requires so much work. It's literally so much work. But at the same time, it's the best platform. Like, I don't care what anybody says. It says people on YouTube are just... For me, it's a much more positive space. Like, yeah, you have the people that come and try to troll you, but like, there's a whole lot more love on this platform than hate, at least for me. Um, so that's just my opinion. By the way, if you're watching this and you are a fellow content creator, like, Comment below and tell me what your favorite platform is. Like, what's your favorite? And for those of y'all who love TikTok, I feel for y'all right now because we just need to enjoy the time that we have with TikTok. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I do enjoy TikTok. I spent the first two hours of this day on the app and I am not proud of that. I am not. But once again, I'm trying to give myself grace, okay? Like, I'm trying to stop being in this performance mode all the time and like being like a machine. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's not how I was created to live. Like, there's so much more to life than checking off things on a to-do list. Yes, be productive. Yes, be a good steward of what God's given you. But at the same time, like live and embrace slow living embrace a life that's unhurried let's see what do i want to do next i'm a concealer first foundation second kind of girl um i don't know what the beauty gurus think of that so don't come for me but i'm just telling y'all what i like and i think my makeup comes out looking pretty nice so i think i'm doing something right I got a huge pimple right here. Let me do something with that. 
So I have a question for y'all as it pertains to your relationship with God. I just want to be very transparent on something. And it was on my mind this morning. I'm not really proud of myself for being this way, but I know it's probably related to my personality. I think that's why I kind of do this. And maybe some of y'all can relate. Give me one second. I never use my makeup brushes, but I'm going to try to today. I have no idea which one I'm supposed to use, though, for um, concealer. So, I don't know. I'm just going to pick one. The one that seems like the right one to use. I think this is the right one to use. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> um, It's not that deep. It's really not. But... I find that in my relationship with the Lord, I can have this performance-based approach with him that I know is not healthy. Um, but I'll be honest with y'all, like, that's really the way I live my life. Like, I live my life in a very performance-based way, and I'm not comparing myself to anybody or anything it's what I expect of myself. Like these are my own expectations that I've put on myself. And so when I fall short in something, I take it very seriously. And so in my relationship with God, I do that. And I'm not proud that I do that. I don't think it's healthy that I do that. Um, and... I really want to stop being that way because once again, I don't really know how or why I developed that. Like, I couldn't tell you. What am I doing with this right now, y'all? Like, really? What is this? What am I doing at this point? Making a fool of myself. That's what I'm doing. I'll be honest. I'm used to using the beauty blender, so... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But YouTube is my safe space, so I think it's all good. But yeah, y'all, I'm not proud of myself for being that way. I really need to get it together in that way. Like, I need to stop. But it's hard because it's just innate. Like, it's just the thing I do. But I don't really know why I do it. Anyway. I just want to know if there's other people out there who can relate that say, you know what, Amber, I'm the same way. Like, in my relationship with the Lord, I definitely hold myself to a high standard. And even though I know I'll never be perfect, I still kind of, you know, approach God like he's got a clipboard in his hands and he's just checking off the things I get right and marking when I do something wrong, like, I don't know. And speaking of the Lord and godly things, I wanted to share with y'all like five things that I feel like single women everywhere should do. Like before you get married, before you have a family of your own, maybe you're watching and you do have like children already or whatever. I think this still, um, can apply to you just some things to consider so uh, there is like a verse i was gonna read to y'all and i'm doing my makeup right now so it's not in front of me but i'll put it here on the screen for y'all um but it is coming out of proverbs 31 we're going to continue with our little series we're just in a different more creative way i want to talk to y'all about investing how single women can invest so number one I think it's important for women to be investing in their local church because in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus is talking about how we can feel anxious or worried about the things of this world in our lives, like what we're going to eat, what we're going to drink, what we're going to wear. And he says, your heavenly father knows that you need these things. But first, seek his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. And I just wanted to um, share that because I believe that, you know, we obviously don't belong to this world. 
we are a part of God's kingdom and we are supposed to be investing in his economy, right? So I just feel like it's very important for us to invest in the local church, you know? And look, everybody's got their opinions on that and whatever, whatever. But I believe that it's important to be part of a church that's healthy, that is ethical, and that has integrity within their leadership so that um, they are supporting, you know, local missions, national missions, global missions. There's more I could say about that. But if there's anything we should be investing into, I definitely believe that it's the church because ultimately it's the church that should be out here serving the least of these and we should be providing the resources so that we can make a difference in our communities. But like I said, whole other video. The second thing I feel like single women should be investing in is real estate. Now y'all know I'm a real estate agent, so y'all already knew that was coming. But I really believe that. I think that real estate is one of the quickest ways to build generational wealth. And I think that there's women who feel like they have to have, you know, a man to be able to do that, which trust me, I get it. I think most women, what is this y'all? What did I do? I think that look, my face is very uneven. I never, when I contour, I never get it just right. I never get it even, it's really annoying. Um, and this is my first time doing a contour stick y'all, so. <laughs> I'm just doing all new types of new things with y'all today and I'm broadcasting it, which is crazy. But I, I get it. There's women who, you know, envision, oh my gosh. There's women who, you know, envision buying a house, you know, with their partner. They didn't envision ever doing something like that on their own. Um, oh my gosh. So I definitely get it. But I think, you know, why not? You know, like if you're in a serious relationship with somebody and they want to marry you, I think that's awesome to be able to bring something like that to the table, you know, to be able to say, oh, I actually have a real estate property or whatever. Um, and I could do a whole other video on why you should own real estate and all that. But if you are in a position where you can do that, you know, do it, definitely. Because that passive income, whether you wanna live in a house yourself and build equity, or if you want to take the investment approach, like it's just amazing what all can come from that. The third thing I would encourage y'all to do is have a life insurance policy. Because the truth is, like, we never know when we're going to take our last breath. And I just think it's so important to have life insurance. Because it's already hard enough when you lose somebody you love. But say that person did not have life insurance, then now somehow their loved ones have to come up with the money to be able to even pay for a funeral. Like a proper burial um, if they don't have it. So that's why a lot of times when people pass away, we see all these GoFundMe accounts and stuff that people promote. Um, and I just feel like it's an extra step that nobody really wants to have to do, you know? Like grief is already hard, but imagine having to plan a funeral in just a few days. Like, that's crazy. And also too, like if you have children, and by the way, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, if you have a life insurance policy, Say that you have a life insurance policy of $100,000. That means that whenever, um, if, if something should happen to you, then the people who you put on your policy as your beneficiaries would then receive that money. I think the standard is to normally have at least two people, but I'm pretty sure you can add as, add as many people as you want. So say you put your parents on there, then... Um, they would then receive that money. I don't know if the first person you list gets all of that or if it's split 50-50. I don't know all the details. Maybe you can select how you want it broken down. It's important to um, just have stuff like that in place, especially if you have children because you could definitely leave an inheritance for your children. 
um, which is a beautiful thing. So I think you should definitely have that in place. I'm probably forgetting to tell y'all things as I'm talking because I'm doing my makeup and talking at the same time. Um, if I forget something, I'll include it in the next vlog, but I just want to apologize in advance. I would also encourage y'all, number four, to invest in a therapist, invest in your mental health. This is something I cannot emphasize enough because... That's something I did as a single woman and it really, really made a difference for me. I don't even think I would be um, in a healthy marriage had I not. Just because of my own personal life experiences and things that I had experienced in the past and hurts and brokenness. And I think sometimes, you know, especially in the black community, we acknowledge that maybe we don't have the best behaviors or, you know, we react to things a certain way. And there are women who think that their behavior or approach to certain things is cute, but it's not cute. There's nothing cute about it. Okay. Like if you have an anger issue, if you um, are aggressive, if you are hostile, if you have a temper, um, maybe for you, you are promiscuous maybe you just have a problem with your mouth i don't know i don't know what it might be but um i know for me i always had rejection issues and so it were it would result in like self-sabotage and i was very ugly to myself i was very mean to myself i would say very ugly hateful things to myself and think those things about myself and so for me, I needed to invest in that. And I'm very glad I did. I'm still in therapy now. Um, sometimes you think you've overcome certain things and you really haven't. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that because it's a process, right? Transformation is a process. It's not an overnight thing. And so I think it's important to be kind and to be gracious to yourself I know that now I can receive love in a much healthier way than I would have been able to before just because of those small changes I did make. So I don't know what your thing may be. It could be anything. It could be anything, right? But I just think it's good to seek prof professional counseling and therapy um, just so that you can show up to be the best version of yourself, not just for yourself, but for those closest to you and your future family. And then the last thing I would encourage encourage you to invest in is a business. This could be an entire different video, but I don't mean like a business business, like brick and mortar or something that's like full time, nothing crazy. I just think, you know, why not? Um, Cause you watching, you are an expert in something, okay? There is some topic or something, some subject matter that you know a lot about. And I think that um, it would be cool of you to find a way to monetize off of that. And I don't mean, you know, not everything is about money, okay? Not everything... We don't need to be breaking our necks for money. I'm not saying that. But I do believe, you know, as women of God, we do need to be resourceful. You know, I feel like if you can make passive income doing something, then do it. Because I believe, it, you know, in, in, in Ecclesiastes, Solomon talks about having several streams of income. That is not a business principle that the world came up with. That is biblical. And I'm not saying that is biblical, like you need to do it. I'm saying that's biblical as in that is knowledge and wisdom from the Bible itself. So the more in streams, the more in streams, what? The more streams of income that you have, the better. You never know when something's going to happen and you just want to be ready for it. Be prepared because life happens. And so that's just my advice. Personally, I want to get into the ebook space and create, you know, some digital products. I'm a behind the scenes kind of person anyway. So if I can create um, 
just some different products that are going to add value to people, sell them at an affordable price and be able to generate income in my sleep, then sign me up, okay? I am your girl. Well, I am done with my makeup. I don't really know what type of look this is because I was going to do a natural look and I got mascara on my eyelid. Really annoying. This is not a natural look. I don't know what this is. I look rosy because it is blush and the lip color. I played around with some lip stuff that I've never done before. So I did a little did a little lip combo. Don't typically do that kind of stuff. But anyways. Well now I'm about to get started recording for my next vlog. So if you enjoyed this one, be sure to sub sub subscribe. <laughs> And I will see y'all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Love y'all. Take care.